Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, today in this video lecture, I am discussing the most important topic in building construction, especially for non-civil engineering people and also for civil engineering students because they are new in building construction. And the topic is guys, why plastic placed under concrete slab, especially for outdoor? It's very important. Have you seen plastic under concrete slab, especially in raft foundation and building for foundation? Have you seen this? So I will clear a concept about this, why we placed plastic under the concrete slab, especially in raft or in slab foundation. Let's start guys. You can see guys here, this is for example, raft foundation or raft foundation and mat foundation is same. Okay, so here guys, you can see these are columns. Okay, and columns also we have beam. As you can see, same like this. My diagram is not good, but just for to clear your concept, I'm making this diagram. Okay, so here guys, <coughs> so in rough foundation, uh, we decking all the area. For example, if this is for example 50, uh, if this is for example uh, 20 meter and by 30 meter. Okay, so in rough foundation, foundation and slab foundation, overall we making slab in the foundation. Okay, so this is called raft or slab foundation. Also, you can call it or also mat foundation. Okay, so here guys, we place plastic under that slab. So what's the reason? And what should be the thickness of the slab? Uh, the thickness of the plastic. Okay. So you guys use because here and especially where uh, if and foundation if there is more moisture. Okay. So there we should provide plastic. We should place plastic under the concrete slab because when we place when we place the plastic so the moisture cannot transfer to the foundation. It cannot transfer to the slab. It cannot transfer to the beam column and also to the superstructure. This is very important. And guys, the plastic thickness should be plastic thickness which we are placing under the slab. Okay, the plastic thickness should be six mile six mil okay six mil okay and you know that guys in one inch okay so <clears throat> one inch is thousand times of mile okay thousand mile okay in one inch we have thousand mile so therefore therefore guys the plastic thickness should be six mile okay and the plastic should be placed especially for outdoor because if there is more seepage or if you are working or if your construction site is near with river or with canal so there are more moisture so the moisture transfer to the superstructure why it's transfer because if you don't place the plastic under the rcc slab so the moisture directly transfer to the slab and mat foundation and slab transfer it to the beam and also the steel can be rust it makes corrosion due to moisture okay and beam transfer that to the columns or beam also transfer it to the dpc and dpc transfer it to the wall so therefore you will face more problems if there are more moisture in your construction site so if you are working near with pH are near with river anything if there are more amount of moisture on construction site so the plastic should be placed under the construction so uh, for this uh, so the plastic thickness should not be less than this one otherwise you will face the problem so also the beam column uh, especially the beam should be also designed on the uh, on the slab okay on the slab because under the slab we provide the plastic 
So guys, this is the very important topic which I have discussed in front of you. So if you have any question related with this topic, so you can comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.